I'll be showing the new webinars feature in Microsoft Teams. The built-in webinars can support up to 1,000 people interactively and over 10,000 in a view-only mode. I'll show you how to create them, how to run them, and how to wrap them up at the end. So let's get started. I'm here in my Teams calendar and I'm going to go up to the new meeting button which now has a drop down. I'm going to choose this and there's this webinar entry. Let's click it. And first up you can see there's this require registration and it says anyone can register. That's the default. Drop this down. You could say hey only for people in my org or you could set it to none. We'll leave it on for everyone because I want this to be a public webinar that anyone can register for. And we just announced that Teams meetings and webinars can go up to a thousand people, which will include chats, polls, live reactions in one giant meeting webinar. And if you go over that limit, your meeting seamlessly scales up to accommodate up to 10,000 people in a view only experience. A lot more details are in the link in the description. Now I'm going to fill out the meeting form. And this is just for the people who are presenters. I'm going to send it out to them and then I will show how to create the registration form. So I'll quickly fill out the title and other information. So you can see here, I filled out the form. And now before I send it out to Kara, cause she's going to be a co-presenter with me, I'm going to view the registration form and customize that. So let's click this. This is the new registration form. First, let's upload an image. Let's click here, choose an image. And you can select which part of it. I like that part there, hit done. We'll give it a title and description. I can also add speakers. So I will add myself and Kara. Add another one. Now we've got the form that attendees will fill out when they sign up. By default, it has first name, last name, and email, and you can add some fields. So I will add a field around job title, and I'll make that required, and I'll also add a field. Let's do custom. I can make a custom question, so I will choose a choice question. So my custom question is, how familiar are you with Teams? If not at all, I know a little bit, or I know a lot, and we'll make that required as well. Now, what I want to do first is hit save to save this and then preview the registration form. So I'll click save. And now I can click view in browser to see what that's going to look like when an attendee clicks the link to register. Okay, here's my form. And again, this is just a preview. I don't actually need to register, but this is what it's going to look like. Okay, let's go back and send out the meeting and then we'll show what it looks like for attendees to click that link. Now I'm back in Teams and I'm going to click copy registration link. Let's copy this. Now it gives me a reminder, be sure to send the invite to presenters. It's something good to remember. So I'm going to go back into Teams and send out my invite now to my presenters, which are Kara. So here's the Teams invite. This is the one that goes to the presenters that will be co-presenting with me. Let's send that out. Now I'm signed in as Kara. I'm a co-organizer and I want to get a copy of this registration link because I want to send it out to all my friends. So in the meeting here I've opened up, I just click copy registration link. Now I'm going to switch into Outlook and send it out. Now I'm signed in as Kara. I'm one of those co-presenters, so I can have this meeting in my calendar. But as Kara, I want to mail this link out to have all my friends come to this really awesome webinar. So I'm going to open up a message. So I've got my message, and I'm going to paste that link that I copied from the webinar form. So here's the link. Now it's really long. What's nice is you can put this link anywhere. So I could tweet out this link. I could put it in a LinkedIn post to join my webinar. I could put it in a form. I could put it on a website. I just pasted it in an email. but I'm going to send this out to these folks. They will receive that link and then we'll show what it looks like for an attendee to open up the link and register for the webinar. So let's send this out. So I'm signed in as Ella Taylor and I just got this mail from Kara Coleman. Hey, come to my team's EDU webinar. Great. Here's a link. I'm going to click this to register. Now here's that form that I created earlier in this video. So I'm Ella. Okay. I'm going to register for this. There is the job title, one of those required fields and how familiar am I with teams? Yeah, I know a little bit. And now I'm going to click register now. Great. See you at the event. And we're going to send a confirmation mail to Ella's email account. So now she can open that up and add it to her calendar. So let's go back to Ella's email and see if that registration confirmation came through. Hey, there it is. You're registered for the what's new in teams edu. Really nice looking confirmation. I can join the event right here. I could cancel if I don't want to go, but here is the iCal file, the ICS file. So I'm going to open this. Now I can add this right into my calendar and this works on any type of calendars out there. Outlook calendar, Google calendar, whichever hit add to calendar. Now it's added it to my calendar. Let's go check that out. Hey, there it is. What's new in teams edu and it's coming up pretty soon. So I'm going to double click. This as Ella. I'm going to click join the event and I'll probably get put into the lobby, but that's fine. I'll go wait in the lobby. Then we're going to switch back as the organizer and start this webinar. Now I'm Ella, I'm waiting in the lobby. 
I'm going to switch back to the organizer and we're going to kick off the webinar. Then I'm going to show how to track attendance and then close up afterwards. Now, before I start this webinar, I want to see what the registration has been like. And what's kind of cool is there's this registration. I could download it as an Excel spreadsheet or I could go up here and go to attendance. So check it out. I've got three people registered for my webinar, maybe not as many as I had wanted, but Ella, Henry, and Alex, I can click on each person and see the details. So Henry is a product manager. He knows a lot about teams. You know, Alex, he knows a little bit. So you kind of got some nice information about your participants. Now we're ready to join the meeting and start the webinar. And I'm going to join now to start this thing off. Looks like there are some people waiting in the lobby to come to my webinar. I'm going to click admit all. It looks like Alex, Ella, and Henry are here. And note that their cameras and microphones are all muted. So by default, they cannot unmute or show their camera. I have control of that. Now, if you go to the three dot menu, you can go to meeting options and you'll see I can turn on allow mic or allow camera. I've kept those off. So in the middle of the webinar, if I want Alex to show his screen or show his video, I can go and control that specifically, allow mic, allow camera. I could spotlight Alex. I could also promote Alex to be a presenter if he wanted to do some screen sharing. So you've got a lot of options as the webinar organizer. And Kara here, she's my co-presenter. She hasn't joined yet, but sorry, Kara, we're just gonna start this webinar. Okay, now we're gonna wrap up the webinar. So I'm gonna drop this down and we'll choose end meeting. We're gonna end the webinar. So goodbye, everybody. If you go back to the meeting details right here, you're gonna see this registration download. And this will download an Excel CSV to your downloads folder in Windows Explorer. So I'll download the registration here and I'm gonna to switch to Windows Explorer. There's my downloaded meeting registration report. Let's double click it to open. Okay, there's my registration. I've got the names, the emails, job title, and all the information from my webinar. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you wanna keep up with all the latest videos I'll be releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell to keep notified for all the latest posts.